Learning other languages is great for understanding different cultures. It opens up a whole new world of people that I can talk to. When you learn another language, you change and the way you see the world changes. I grew up in a bilingual household. We spoke Cantonese and English. So learning a language was something I really wanted my daughter to experience. I always wanted to learn Spanish. I've tried so many things, drilling, flashcards, all types of apps, and they just didn't work for me. They're not fun. I read to my daughter every night, and I realize that we are both learning. Stories are a great way and a natural way to learn a language. There needs to be an enjoyable, meaningful experience. People need to hear the language they are learning. Casas, vacas, muchas. Everything hangs off the narrative. The language dictionary, in-context grammar, cultural notes, illustrations, the live transcript. It's almost like having someone sit beside you and just who really understands that book and the language and tell you what these different places are, what these words mean, what these idioms mean. The language learning happens in the process. In Extremadura, vivía un hombre. Las vacas, las ovejas y los cerdos. Ovejas y... This guy needs to dream more. So I've been learning Chinese for two years. Then I heard about this project. I'm starting to work on a page for the library of stories. Estela se acurrucó en su lugar favorito y abrió el sobre. Adoraba a su abuela. De hecho, fue su abuela quien le había elegido su nombre, Estela. Anyone can learn a language. It's about creating the environment for people to hear it and interact. 